Hello everyone, I have a quick video for you today to help you with your sheet for today. Um, on the left side, there's some fill in the blank. So the first part of my video will help you with that. When determining the value of a digit, we look at the place it is located in. So it's the same as with whole numbers, but now we're just looking at it with decimals. Look at the chart at the top of the page for today. You can see that the four in the first number is located in the tenths place. Now look at the second number. The one in that chart is located in the thousandths place. And now look at the third number in the chart. The seven is located in the hundredths place. The value of the seven can be written as seven over 100 or seven hundredths, which is a decimal, then the zero, and then the seven. Let's do some examples. So in seven and nine hundredths, the nine is located in the hundredths place. The value of the nine can be written as nine over 100 or nine hundredths, which is a decimal, then the zero, and then the nine. Let's look at another example. This number is 12 and 983 thousandths. Again, let's look at the nine. It's in the tenths place. So the value of the nine can be written as nine over 10, nine tenths, or nine tenths. So just a decimal and then the nine. One more example. We have 794 thousandths. In this number, the four is in the thousandths place. So the value of the four can be written as four over 1,000 or four thousandths. It can be written as a fraction or as a decimal. So to write the decimal, we need the decimal, zero, zero, and then four. Let me know if you have any questions. 